come up to the service line. Try to serve as wide as possible. The stars should be the same place as actual serve. Serving from this position, this direction, will really force you to turn your shoulders. Getting a great shoulder turn is one of the fundamentals of the service technique. Body rotation is the main source of power in all strokes. The throw is not exception. You can see this great shoulder turn in the trophy position in any elite player. From the trophy position, the hitting shoulder should go from here to there into this cartwheel motion. If you have a lack of shoulder turn, you will lose this range of rotation. As a result, you will lose the power of racket acceleration. You can work on your shoulder rotation by performing shadow serves to imitate getting into the trophy position. Additionally, this drill will help you achieve a proper shoulder turn in the trophy position. I'm walking and serving at the same time. This is my first step. When I take the next step, I get into the power position. Once again, during this step, I perform a body turn. Then I toss the ball. Then I raise my heat and arm up. Turn, toss up. When I feel the weight almost shifting to my front foot, I start accelerating the racket. In this moment, I start accelerating the racket. And the end of the follow through, I take the next step. These slow steps dictate the rhythm on my serve. I incorporate this exercise into the learning process with all of my students. I often see players raise their racket too quickly and abruptly. When it comes to biomechanics, it's so so important this smooth fluid motion for the racket acceleration and power on your serve. Especially here at the beginning of the service motion. You should build your speed from slow to fast. Gradually from slow to fast. This exercise, this drill will help you with it. You can do it.